Alright, hello and welcome everybody to another playoff match with the first round. Tonight we will see five kings facing off template. So first seeded team in the name of five kings of course against the runner-ups of template. You just got a slot out of a bit of luck because one team was disqualified and they were the only team up showing up for a wild card so they got a slot so now they have to face the best team i mean they've got luck to got in but they're probably going to be out pretty soon at least that's what the community is thinking because 80 percent of the votes gone towards five kings we got people coming in we already had the knife for the veto and bans and picks. I unfortunately didn't see it, so one thing we know, it's gonna be crash first. And the other maps we're just gonna wait and see. Oh, I can just ask real quickly. Um, okay, that looks like it's not gonna be crash, but district. Uh, who picked which map and what's decided? Okay, City is the pick of Five Kings, Crash is the pick of Template, and if it's gonna end up in a 1-1 one -one on maps, it's gonna be Crash as a decider, Strike as a decider, sorry. But yeah, as I said, it's most likely gonna be a 2-0 game, because it's just a new mixed team in the name of Template, didn't have a lot of matches yet, didn't train a lot, and got best team of the last two seasons ahead of them with the names of the leader Dex, Samuel G, Uzuma and Relax and we will see what Noon waits Marvin, Wu and Monty are gonna have to say about this but for now we're gonna knife for sides and it looks like five kings do not care about the side so they're just gonna kill themselves because, in my opinion, City is pretty even balanced, so it doesn't really matter that much. And if you're a team like Five Kings, you don't care at all anyway. Because you can just be cocky. So it's kind of a deserved cocky, because if you are the best, you're allowed to be cocky a bit. So yeah, they're confident, they're gonna take the win, so they don't care on which side to start. So get this started, only waiting on weights and Samuel G, and then we can get this rolling. Probably just the uh, last preparations for the map. Who's going where, which nade is to be thrown, and then we're going live. Good luck, have fun to both teams and all of you. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's start with the best player in the community with Dex is going for the wall bank through the AR. Arch. Doesn't get anything out of it, but his mate Uzuma gets a main track to the mid player. You can see the minimap and arch player is coming towards Catboy. Let's see what's gonna happen. Dex is going for another spam, not connecting anything, but Uzuma was his second player. Almost on his own D, gets to frag as well and his mate as well. So they got a few frags back, but in the meantime, Dex got his first kill and the leader followed up. So it's a 1v3 for Monty. Explosives planted. He's rotating from the A side, but he's already been spotted. And there's a player behind the barrel right next to him. He has no idea. Uh, he was surely waiting for the knife, but <laughs> just waited too long. He was impatient, so he just switched. So, easy first round, only two players dying onto a B push. And uh, let's see if they can follow this up. Let's see if Azuma he got two quick kills last round. He's just waiting for the push nades to come in. Waits for the one, throws a nade on his own and starts to push into B. You can see a two player defend, one on the fences, one on the B arch of template. Waits, get the frag in middle and moves back to ticket and is on the wooden position. Uzuma just holding this position for his team so his teammate can push further from wooden and Dex gets the frag he was pushing into the scope which is kind of odd so but his teammates are doing the work right now. 
who gets finished off after being tagged and only waits and his position is known. They're planting A, except for she says, and always, I want to go for the frag, but he misses actually because Waits is lagging. That's odd, but maybe this is Waits' chance to get this back. Let's see, he knows where one player is. He is running away. Smart play of Dax. He's not gonna take the fight, he wants this round for him. Down. And he knows his teammate is watching out for him, so they take the zero lead. Easy peasy. <coughs> Let's see some defensive setup what Marvin is doing. He seems to be the switch from the Diego. I want to see what gun we have. He's the mid SMG from A Arch. He's already got a player in front of him, got a smoke in his hand, so. The, he surely does not know there's a player already through. That's gonna be terrible for his team. His timing is terrible. He's got so many people around him. As soon as smoke is gone, he's just dead. He made a step as well, so relax, easy frag for him. And we've got already three players dead from template, and Dex knows A is open now because they killed both the mid and the scope probably. And the scope's still alive, but killed enough people to know there's nothing else to kill. So, Noon in the meantime got a double kill back to take it back to 2v2. So, still doable, but bomb is down and smart positions from both the attacking players. Stack spots out an arch player, goes for the Digo, gets only the tag. And his mate dies to boo, so he's in 1v2 now. Let's see if he can clutch this. Gets the Digo. And the quick scope onto Noon. There's just no. No way Dex is gonna lose this round if he's in such a position and you're gonna peek him one after another. You kinda gotta go at the same time from two angles to catch a player like him, of course. Let's see what, how new one is playing the scope. He's actually playing on B. They got three players in B, so only one player on A, one in middle probably. No one spots out a player on a wooden, but. Not gonna trust his teammate to hold this angle, so he has to switch positions. Marvin is watching there, so it's clear that Nguyen is watching there as well. It seems like a miscommunication, but his teammates are falling all over the map already, so it doesn't really matter. Nguyen oh, gets a nice shot onto Dax, who was crossing from the right band. Gets a frag on the leader as well, behind the bricks, that was a close shot as well. So maybe Nguyen can make a difference here in this round, but you can see on the minimap bomb has already been carried to the A-bomb, it's planted right now, there's nothing they can do about it. Maybe Noon with an A, it's not connecting, it's not good enough. And Noon alone in a 1v3, maybe can get a quick exit frag, but I think that's gonna be A for this round, because Relax is moving up an SMG, close range fight, easy kill for him. And big lead already for the 5 kings. As you can see, Marvin and Monty not really in the game yet, only one frag, Waits and Wu with two frags. Not really that much better, but yeah. You'll see, he just started, better adapt to such a good team. And definitely work on the communication, because it seems like they have big holes in their defense. Just yet, two frags for each team, down to a 3v3. The leader does not want to believe that. Uzuma going on top of the BH. Good position to hold it. Uzuma down. And as you can see, easy frag for him, even though he missed some stray bullets. And gets noon. Not because Relix is stealing it. And waits this time a bit quicker on the rotate from A, but still too slow because Dex is already holding that. So another easy round from the B push. Uh, nothing seems to work for the defense team here. I don't know what they can change. They're not coming in fast, they're just coming in together. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a good defense crossfire setup to hold off any aggression. Uh, Monty gets the first frag into Sam. And Marvin finally with another frag. So, 3v5. They need to get this round at least. With that, such an advantage, you kinda have to lock it down. Let's see what they're doing. Uzuma just patiently waiting for any peak. And if you have the man advantage, you of course want to get some frags and push forward. But most likely it's better to stay in. As you can see, Dex got a kill with Monty. Finally got Dex. Uzuma so getting another. It's getting a bit troublesome. So he still survives, but is a 1v3 now. Almost killed Monty then. But in the end he falls to Wu. First round for the defensive team templates. They need to pick some more 
for sure if they want to have any chance in this game or in this map particularly. Monty is just chilling in spawn. Let's switch to Zuma. Very good spawn, throwing the mid nade, but was not fast enough. Marvin's nade perfectly, I think, to counter that nade. And Wade's with a nade frag as well, so looking out for them. Let's see if Dex can do some magic here because Marvin comes up catwalk with a quick double frag on the double chip over here. Probably stop of him his third kill of the round already. Maybe he can flank Dax in the back, but Dax is already scared of the player flanking behind him. So he's just gonna move forward in hopes he's not gonna be so fast behind him. Has to check every corner. There's still five players. They could be freaking everywhere, but they've got a bomb. They're not gonna show themselves. But, ooh, is he going for the knife? Uh, yes, of course. Poor Monty. <laughs> He had to make steps, so of course Dex is gonna use that. But right now he's watching the clock, 45 seconds. He gotta get four players or the bomb, and yeah, he's gotta start sprinting, obviously. Spams at the P house. We can see there's nobody in the can't. Some spams through the shop. He gets the tag, knows there's a player, and good reaction shot onto him to finish him off. Only three players remaining then. Ah, he predicted a player that couldn't see him, started sprinting, couldn't finish the job too fast. So, good second round by Template, good frags as well by, sorry it was Marvin with a tri triple kill. That's what they need, they need some individual skill to hold up to the five king player. Noon with a good shot on the leader, who was pushing the catwalk with an SMG. Smokes don't seem to be as fast as they want to from the attacking team, because if you have an SMG that fast, you have to uh, have a fast smoke. So the scope can't just kill him off that easily. Or maybe Dex needs to peek aggressively to count the score as well. Let's see what they do about this next round. But for now, let's see how they hold B. Samuel with a nade onto the scope. Wu almost died from that nade as well. Look at that, 10 HP. And obviously the nade thrower would have heard the double attack with a nade, so he peeked that corner. Ooh, seen a player. And nice bait with the deagle from Dex to give Ozuma the chance to kill him with the SMG. Dex getting a sick deagle shot onto the B Arch player as well. Wow, that was just raping the B side. They just take the time and then they're pushing in together. It's just smart play by Five Kings. And Template is nothing against it. Nice flash from Elex. Well job. That's probably gonna blind a lot of people. Uh, we see two players on the 80. They're losing B a lot, so it's real that they're sending two players in. But you can see, as there's nobody in a car park, they're rotating off quite fast. But too fast, in my opinion. Five Kings are not pushing that fast. Why would you push car park so fast? Okay, Marvin on his own, because B already fell down again. And let's, let's see what he can do. He has to play on A. He has the bomb. If he lets him plant and kills him, he kind of can win the round. Uh, oh my god, he misses the spray horribly because the barrel blew up as well. Uh, there are players all around him, so as soon as he doesn't make that frag, he's just screwed. 7 2. This is kind of crucial already to get this round because 8 points on attack kind of gives you a huge advantage already. Let's see what Marvin's doing. Had a good spawn, good movement into the VRH. But he's making too much noise, I think. People should already be aware that he's in there. There's a player at mid. He spots him, gets attacked, but can't connect the spray. He's just missing his aim. It's just a bit off to finish the job. Many players of Five Kings were attacked this round, but not finished, so it seems like a bit of lack of aim on the template side. Dex getting attacked up heavily. Well, it seems like with a lot of tags through the wall, but <laughs> just gets a revenge rock with the deagle. He's had enough of the tags, was bored of it, and the players already, everybody's in A. And it's already Monty. Explosives one planted. Before. This round is over already again. There's no coming back from that. Gets the tag on the Samuel, but the leader's just coming with the deagle and finishes the job. So, A2, Dex top fragging, no surprises here. Uh, at least some players on of template showed up. Let's see if they're throwing nades at all. Nade landing on top roof, but I think that's a tech nade. Noon again with a frag on Samuel G. And you see, they're just coming in together. This is lovely teamwork. I want to see this from top perspective. They just have 
sense traps as a team, so the player on top, two players bottom, they're just covering each other. This time who steps up and says, no, if you play together, I'm just gonna kill you all together. No worries. And so it's Azuma on 1v3 and gets picked off by Monty, so good hold by Vu. Zombie Shrek there, that's what they need. Even if they have players pushing in together, just get in a position to kill them all together in one spot. So maybe if they get one more round they still hope in this, but of course Five Kings are switching it up because they've seen Template adapted. Zuma with the nade almost again a double nade. Wu and Monty down to low half as well. But they're just pushing into A and doing, this, doing some silly jumping in B and they're already planting. There's no way of stopping it because the smoke is down perfectly. Yeah, Noon gets the main track on the bomber, but there's a guy in their spawn. Now moved into the A building. 3v3 is still doable, but Noon just goes in with the deagle instead of having his teammate going in. So this is looking more and more desperate. Relax has the spot to cover the AR. Arch. And Dex with the scope has the long range on flowers, but he's not even gonna care. He's not gonna see. Gets the last frag, so 9 3. Good half for 5 kings, I guess. But yeah, we'll see what Tembe does to offer. Maybe they've got a sick attack and can pull this back, but for now, they don't look too confident right here. Only Noon is fragging on his potential. And so far, I will see. Maybe I'm just a noob and don't know. What sides are good on these maps, but in my opinion, it's always going to be defense. At least for city streets. Second half starting, let's see how Vikings are going to defend, or better, even how Template are going to attack. Looks like a B attack, three players going quickly to the B alley. No good player going to the mid, they are scared of the mid nades. Dex standing aggressively, which could be good because there's only a left side smoke, right so side smoke failed, but he's fallen back soon enough. Uh, he gets a frag, we are too late, but they got the initial frag onto B, so they opened the side. There's still one more player on laundry, I don't know if they heard him or just pre aiming. Now they see him, Monty gets a frag, good job by him. So it's down to a 2v4, Dex fell in the meantime by noon, so another scope duel in the favor of the Swede. Explosives on planted. The top arch is Samuel G in a 1v4, he can't even see the play on top, so he falls. So good attack, yeah. This looks like they can bring it back, not too bad. Let's see if Noon can take the scope tool again against Dax. Aggressive spot to watch for the B crosses. Zoom out and nade frag on weights and Dex with the nade frag on wood. Deep nade onto the players who will wait to push into the middle. Noon only gets the attack on Dex, but somehow he died. Oh, Marvin pushed him off top, that's okay. And yeah, so two frags for Marvin and he's already on his own. He's like, guys, if you're too bad, why, why are you all dead? <laughs> Obviously, he's gonna be picked out in such a position on 1v3. No way. He can do it, but yeah, it looked promising in the start, but then the nades came in from Five Kings, deep nades, because they figured out they are waiting a lot of time, Dex with a shot on to do. we've done that three times in a row now, Dex had enough of this, but look at this, the smoke is again not down, it always falls down, so easy frags for Dex, you can't give him those opportunities, he's gonna use it like a bitch, and he's doing some spam that I've never seen, but yeah, it's no wonder, because I'm bad. Now he's just holding uh, off his own push and checks the catwalk as well. Gets the third frag, lovely headshot onto Wu, who had no chance of dodging that. And now he's just waiting for a player to push him. He kind of knows there's got to be one soon. But yeah, the player, whoever it is, that he want to push, he pulls back to the BRG. And is being greeted by Uzuma. Another easy round for five kings. 11 to 4, only two more to take this map. And uh, Dex still top fragging with 20. Let's watch a play of template for the weights with a good A spawn. It died to any night, so you can go in quickly. 
but relax with a double nade on the car park and wait, can't even connect the frag onto the leader, doesn't even get attack, uh, only Monty getting one kill back, but still some work to do, gets the second, so looks better for now. And wants to help his teammate who's been pushed by a player, but right now he has no way of knowing where the player is, he could have been in the smoke, he could walk around, but as we see on the map he walked back into the B building. Timing is just off. Oh, Monty. He hoped the player would move and sprayed the gap. And Samuel G being a dick, playing the pump gun but being punished by Monty, who got a third frag of the round and is down on a 1v2 right now. And Dex knows where he is and has an easy scope here that can walk and takes him down. So we've got eight map points for five kings coming up. Let's see how many they need to close this out. Let's see if Marvin can do something. But again, the smoke is not down perfectly. This you can't play city streets like this. You have to have the smokes down and on attack. It's just terrible. Five kings are just having fun like this because they can aim from, from dog walk onto catwalk. They take this 13 to 4. Defense was already not good for template and with smokes like that you can't attack. There's no way. On crash it could be the same but it's not too bad. But I think if you can't smoke off the middle as well, if you push into A you're gonna get raped as well. So let's see. Template starting on defense, so the better side. And Azuma's calling for the knife because he wants this end quickly. He wants to start the defense because we all know defense is a Sorry, Crash is a defense-based map. And he's just bored of this match. He maybe wants to play another, maybe some other team. So he's cutting in for the knife. And Raid's already calling, doesn't really matter. He's already frustrated. He knows they're just not good enough. They don't have their struts down. They are a new form team. They still have some work to do if they want to make it work. So yeah. Let's see. Let's see. If Template can get this, they still got some hope to get some motivation back, maybe. Oh, Frex falling for each team. Don't do 2v2. Relax on a 1v1 against Waits. Let's see. Waits didn't participate in any team fight in metal, so he's not warmed up knifing. And Wade's doing some jumpy jumpy, which are not too legit. Uh, but he didn't abuse it, he didn't stay up there, he didn't use it to his advantage, so let this one slide. And I'm just a short caster, I'm no admin here. I'm not gonna intervene. Because usually if you go up to a jump, which you can't reach without a bounce in a knife, it's gonna be a four fight. Time it's gonna be one round loss because of bug abuse, but yeah, we all know those rules. We've been playing this game for ages, so let's see. Template has to start an attack. Let's see how many rounds Five Kings can get on defense. If they already can get like 10 or something, it's gonna be GG. But maybe Template can get something back. Dex is going for the big spam dodges the nade, which was falling onto the left side of Zambak, so no danger. They have nobody defending A, so Dex has to go in with the scope and hold it, so that's kind of odd. But they might feel the template are scared, I'm not gonna push in fast, so yeah. They've got three players in A now, so a late rotate into A. Noon is there with the scope, nading Zambak, so clearly thinks the scope is still there. Smoking back A to push in soon with his teammates. Let's see if Samuel can hold them off. He doesn't check the jump. If he does a jump now, he's safe. But he fails the jump, we heard him, and now he steps into middle. Well, player's gonna wait for him. Marvin, you're so dead, you're known, your position is known. You've got three players around you. See you. So, this leaves only Wu and Noon alive, and they desperately hope for any peak, but Five King is too smart for that. They're not gonna peak, they're not giving you any chance for that. And Noon is going in with a scope instead of letting his AK mate run in. His 
saves his life but dies in the end and Uzuma comes in for the rescue to take this round. 1-0 lead. Uzuma and Samuel G both with 3 and 2 kills. Let's see if they're gonna show any more aggression now because they are no template is not playing too fast. No, Marvin tried to play fast but Dex just remains. Ooh, the answer made at least and wait for the kill so they got a man and adventure but just quickly lost this as well as Dex takes out Boo and Dex takes out Noon and this means a 2v3 advantage in favor of 5 King they gotta play an A at least but Wade's been spotted by Dex and if he's gonna pick his head off the roof to Sandbox he's surely gonna die Monty kills the bitch. Oh, wait, killed Dex while he was jumping onto the scope house, so good stuff by him. Nice deagle. This leaves Uzuma in 1v2, and he's in a good spot. I don't think. Yeah, Wade knows where he is, and he hears the second player running away just now. And Monty is waiting for him. Ah, oh, he pre fires him. It was probably not the best decision he could have made. And now it's gonna come down to timing. Uzuma hears him, does not go for the long SMG spray, but rather wants to go in close. Explosives planted. And Uzuma just jumps in. Even though Monty should have hurt him, he can't react fast enough to see it. And Uzuma desperately looking for the bomb, finds it in the end and can take the second round for 5 King. Explosives diffused. So I'm not really sure what template need here because they sometimes get the opening frag, but it's so fast that it's five minutes get one back. But we have no idea what we could change. So again, opening frag from Wade onto Zuma with an 8. And Monty with another, but again, it's Dex to be the one to answer the first frag back. And a few frags falling back and falls down on A. And this leaves Marvin in a good spot. Ooh, and Samir G crawls in the middle a long time. And Dex getting the tag onto the A bomb player. And kills the roof player. Is in close for who's tagged him up and he takes the no scope duel in close. Bit risky, but it pays off. First round for template. So they've taken A a bit more aggressively, so I think this is what they need. Uh, let's see if they can continue this. Thanks with a fast nade and a quick back to A. Goes on the glitch roof, got some lovely view from there. Makes his position known, he misses a shot on the long arch player. But nobody's speaking him. If you if you hear the scope and top glitch and you know it's Dex, you're not gonna peek if you're not noon because he's got the scope, he's got the good gun to counter that. But yeah, Samuel G again playing with a pump gun, not paying off too much as Wade takes it down. Wade is in A now, there's no competition, so if they can take the bomb down quickly now, they could pull off this round. It's a 3v3, Dex is still on sandbags. He doesn't dare to do the jump, he remembers the deagle headshot he got last time, but he does it and fails it. Let's all laugh at Dex for a round. And Uzuma spotted a player on the bottom Explosive stairs. Planted. Let's see, Marvin spots him out, so he can get out of this trouble position. They're just blocking each other. Dex saw that when he moved. So Marvin gets a lovely deagle headshot on the relax, so down to E2v2. Waits, kills Uzuma, so it's down to Dex. One v 2 Sprays with the D gun has not enough bullets left to kill him off, so good stuff by Marvin and Wales to clutch this back for their team. It's 2 2, so looking better. Two rounds in a row. Let's see how Five Kings react to that. So, OG just switching between weapons. Zuma gets tagged up heavily, and the lead and Dex already died as well, so looks like a good another round for template. I've got three players in A, but two players of five kings are around A as well, so if Uzuma got the timing just right now, gets the first, gets the second, there's a player above him and underneath him, and he just reloads at the wrong time, it doesn't even finish the reload, so 
Good luck for Wu. Can kill him off. In Explosives the end. And planted. Last man remaining. Not even gonna dignify that with a spectate. And Monty takes him out easy. So three rounds in a row. They are looking more and more confident. Thanks, this taking his gold duel, but misses onto New. New desperately, come on, pick me again, pick me again. He wants this fight, he wants to show he's better. But Dex is not going to do him the favor because it's not doing his team any good. And as you can see, he just moved and killed two other people. So, why fight with the scope if you can kill three people on the other side of the map? And yeah, Dex again with three kills made a huge impact to take this round and they tied it up to 3-3 three, three. so they kind of adapted to the A push so you can see weight to, to B because you see nobody's really defending B so he sees a player laying down but he's in the clamp animation so he can't shoot unlucky for him and his teammates are unfortunately dying around him as well who been tacked up heavily and finished through the wall by the leader and Dex getting another as well on to Monty easy and quick round again they need to change something but they need to change it coordinately because there was no smoke down in BLE they could easily pick down they are lucky that Dex is missing so many shots right now else they would just die like flies on the other so now the smokes are down but the A player is watching there as well, of course. So if you're not fast enough, you gotta be aware of that. Marvin is in A already. Getting the lovely CGAC lag. So let's see. There's a player on his right, so he's soon he pushes onto the stairs. He's kinda dead if he doesn't check the spot on the right. But his teammates are just dying, so he has to move in. He hears the player spamming behind him. He just hopes he comes up, but from the other side, his player came into wooden. And this leaves Monty in a 1v5. He's been spotted already. Gets a few tags, gets at least a frag on Sam. Uh, Sam in G. And Dex finishes him off with a scope shot. So, yeah. After winning three rounds, they lost two. So, five kings adapting good enough to hold off the A pushes. And after that. They don't really know what to do. Let's see if Noon can get any picks. But as you can see at the minimap, nobody's really peeking. So, what can he do? He gets the frag onto the player in long arms for the smoke. Good shot. But his teammates are already dead. So, yeah, nice frag to the smoke. But what can you do if your teammates are dying around you? Nice, lovely flying no score, but it's not gonna win you the round. Especially if you miss a shot like that, but of course, has been tagged up, you miss your aim. Players are moving in smart. Look at this, nobody's peeking alone. Everybody has a crossfire to the other player. They're spamming the wall all together, and Tuzuma gets the kill in the end. So he was just hunted down by three hungry Five King players. And it's a 6 3 lead, so I need to take some rounds back right now. It's looking dire for them. Dex going for the blue spam again. Didn't connect too much here with that. Let's see if Sam can spot something out in the middle. Looks through two smokes, but can't see someone gets tacked up heavily by the car. He's player pushing in, so it's just unlucky. He could have died from the car and the round would have been a bit easier, but no, he survived to kill the player. And easy round for Five Kings once more. This would be the time in a in a fair match for templates to pick a timeout, but they know they're not good enough. They don't think they can pull it back, so they're not gonna bother wasting time with a timeout. But they just lost four rounds in a row. Dex with two kills again. He's just he can walk all over the map. Do not picking the right fights against him. And he does sometimes lose them. Dex with the third kill. And he's hungry for more. Even though it's down to V2v2, so while Dex was killing three people, Template killed three people of his team. So they came back. Uh, timing is just right of Dex. Probably will wait for the player to push into A as well. 
And now he knows where he is because he decided to peek to play on mid. Ooh, sees Dex dropping off. But the leader has his cover, of course. Dex can move freely because the leader is covering all the angles where the player could peek him from. So, smart play, smart team play. This is what you need to be a top team. And an 8 3 lead, this is looking quite promising. Even though it is a defense sided map, so there's still hope. But templates seem to have lost their faith long ago. Dex is two players against him on the BLE, but they're not even peeking him together. So you know, three players coming down the alley, and look at the rotate from Five Kings. Even though they lost some UG already, they're rotating three players into B, and Relax holding A, which he's done successfully against New. Again, the scope pushing Solo into A, so Relax has this easy play to hold A on his own. While I don't get it even. Team template gets sent two player into A, while three players are waiting on Bialy. For what? Are they hoping the A players kill someone in A to force a rotate? So maybe an attempt to fake an A attack gone wrong. And Wade doesn't even have a bomb, he's just pushing and gets a kill on the right so legs again a little bit. The leader with a frag onto Marvin leaves Wade in a 1v2 and he has no idea where the second player is, so he's just looking around him all the time. Gets tagged up heavily, goes for another peek, but he's just lagging. I look on the scoreboard, his ping isn't lagging, so not sure what is causing it, but yeah. Unlucky for him, 9 to 3 leads, which is okay on defense. You can pull this back, you can pull it in over time, and get some more rounds on attack. But for now, let's see how they're gonna defend it. Let's see what Monty can do on the VLE. Got a good spawn for it. He's not scared of Dex, but yeah, you can see him flying, shooting, and then missing once more. And it's just a player, Dex is just deciding to walk down, but Monty got his ass this time, so down to a 3 3. And Monty's moving into a good spot on the VLE. Relax taking out Wu though. So Monty kinda has to make a frag right now. He sees a play on the chopper, but he's not deciding to spray him because Marvin calls in that he's gonna kill him soon. Uh, there's a player crawling up the alley. It's gonna be the leader onto Monty, leaving Marvin in a 1v2. If he can pick up the player, ah, uh, he decides to shoot, giving away his position, but I guess it was not anyways because he already had a frag in A. Uh, I am. And uh, the leader luckily surviving those two or three deagle tags. Yeah, Marvin just stuck on the roof, what can he do? He wants to go in for the close fight, but Azuma in the perfect spot. I'm gonna take him out. Marvin surviving as lucky as the leader. So let's see, the leader decided to plant the bomb in it. Marvin is missing the jump. How much luck do you have to have as five kings to even win rounds with the opponent killing themselves? So yeah, unlucky for them. Thanks for taking the fight against the AK on the of course. You can take the fight all day long. And there's finally some rotation coming from him. Samuel G was two kills. And Zuma leader with each kill. And only Noon left and the 1v5 gets first, but not a single frag more. This is looking like a steam roll from Five Kings onto the A bomb, and there's just no hold up. Let's see if they're even nading or something. Marvin is just pushing with the SMG to be there as fast as he can, but we all know if there's a fast snake, you're just gonna die, no matter how fast you are. And Zuma has the snake perfectly set. Samuel G with the plant on top of the table. So all the players from BLE and can pick it from there. He even wants to go for some silly pumpgun action. And only waits remaining. Takes out SMG. Takes out Deleter as well. And knows where another player is because he was tagged up by him. But is he checking it? Uh, I don't think he's exactly sure where he was. And right now he's waiting for the stairs. Spams it, but can't connect the frag, so... We've got... Nine... Yeah, nine. My 
math skills are barely enough to calculate that. Nine match rounds, four five kings. Yeah, it's the only one showing up on this match. Dex going cocky down the BL, he doesn't get shot down by Wu, so at least some holds with the cockiness. And Marvin just barely gets the frag on the relax, but the bomb's already down, they get the player in A. Marvin gets the frag on the SMG, it's down to the 2v2. Let's see if they can bring the back. Noon picked up a SMG. But there's a player in the long arch, he just picks the scope but can't connect the frag. This is kind of the frag you have to make if you want to clutch around. Zuma is moving down because he knows there's a scope just waiting for the player pick. Marvin goes for the fake. It should have been known that it's a fake, so I don't know why Uzuma moved in there. And now Marvin is just desperately hoping he survives, but there's no way GG to both teams. This was a quick one, as it was kinda expected. So... Yeah, what can I say other than thank you for watching. If you want to have more information about this cup or about the Call of Duty 4 scene overall, go to eu.cybergamer.com. You can pick up an account there, check the forums for teams, check the letters, check the cups. It's still a bit active, we're still working on them to get some teams back. And of course, follow the stream, check my Facebook and tell me how you like the stream. And if you watch this on YouTube, of course, do things, what you ever can do there, I have no idea. And yeah, thank you, we'll see each other next time, and have a good night, see ya.